Hey everyone, it's Eric Thor from Neo Young Gun Academy and I'm here to talk to you today about highly sensitive people and a mode that I like to call the pillow swing mode or the cactus mode. And this is what happens to an HSP who is overstimulated. So as you might know, a highly sensitive person is somebody who finds overall uh, themselves to have a more fine-tuned nervous system. Uh, so in general when they feel they feel more strongly than other people and what tends to happen is they tend to feel a little more touched like uh, something that to another to a normal sensitive person feels this much to a highly sensitive person feels this much so what tends to happen for the high HSP is when surrounded by especially non HSPs uh, you tend to find yourself a little overwhelmed overstimulated other people are being louder than you are in general. Other people are being more touchy than you are. And all of this goes into your feeling thermometer. And after a while, your feeling thermometer starts to boil. Like, uh, imagine you are a pot of water. Like, it's too much. You don't release energy quick enough uh, in terms of what energy other people give you. And it becomes uncomfortable. Now, as a highly sensitive person, you want to be with this person, you like this person, it's a good person, there's nothing wrong with them. But what you're finding is that you are getting overwhelmed. So, when you're overwhelmed, what, and what you want to be polite, you tend to sometimes linger. You stay with this person even though you feel like you need to retreat. You, st you hang around. You try very hard to keep energ uh, being energized, to keep, to keep uh, being attentive. But what tends to happen is in this rush to not become rude to the other person in taking the, your own crucial alone time, introspection time, uh, you tend to become like a cactus. And you become like a cactus in the sense that you are actually in this moment experiencing stress. You are actually not comfortable with the other person, truly, fully. Because uh, in some ways they're talking too much for you, they're being too overwhelming to you, too much, too close, uh, too loud. <laughs> and uh, you're feeling a little like your boundaries aren't respected. And you're a part, of course, yourself to blame for this because you're not monitoring your own boundaries. But as you don't, you tend to just fall into this feeling of everything being thorns everything around you is like thorns your entire body is covered with thorns and you start to project because your feeling of not being at peace with the other person of course you start to think that is feeling is what they are feeling so because you don't want to be rude you don't want to judge other people you can sometimes fall into the other trap of assuming that you are the one who is uncomfortable to the other person. You're the one that's annoying, loud, and <laughs> too much, you know. Uh, but really, you're the one that feels like it's too much. And that is like this important thing to be wary of. There is nothing wrong with caring for your own boundaries. When you want to build healthy relationships with this good person, this person is probably really nice, you probably like this person, and they're probably fun to be with. You need to find a way to be with them which makes you feel at peace, just as they do. Because in many ways they probably do feel very at peace with you, and you probably do feel very at peace with them. You just, it's just as a new HSP who hasn't begun uh, truly to learn to set their own boundaries, or it's a process of course. Um, you can sometimes uh, you, you really need to start doing it. You really need to start setting boundaries. That is the core of this video. Don't fall into pillow swing mode. Try to, when you start to feel like you're uncomfortable to others, think about, is it because maybe they are being a little uncomfortable to you? And there's nothing wrong with thinking that, because that is the start of saying, sorry guys, I need to go for a bit, or I need to head out for a bit, I need to take some time to myself, and I'd love to see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Thank you all for watching.